So we get to talk about the differences between what oligohydramnios, and when you are talking about oligohydramnios, you are saying the amniotic fluid here is little. Do you understand? Then if you are talking about polyhydramnios, anything poly means the thing is much, all right? So polyhydramnios is the amniotic fluid is different. It's too much. So we're looking at the differences between these two concepts. So we have oligohydramnios on this side. Then we have polyhydramnios on this side. Or look at one point here. We come here to look at one point. Okay. So for the overview, we say that oligohydramnios and polyhydramnios are conditions that are related to what abnormal levels of amniotic fluid. The amniotic fluid is not within the normal range that it should be. Okay. So for the major differences for definition, we say that oligohydramnios is where there is little amniotic fluid around the fetus. Okay. Amniotic fluid is little. Why for polyhydramnios, there's too much amniotic fluid around the fetus. Okay. Causes could be due to factors such as ruptured membranes, placenta insufficiency, um, fetal renal abnormalities, or maternal dehydration leading to decrease in the amniotic fluid. For polyhydramnios now, it could be due to maternal diabetes, fetal anomalies like gastrointestinal obstruction, neural tube defect, or twin-to-twin -twin transfusion syndrome. What are the symptoms here? There's reduced fetal movement because the amniotic fluid helps to cushion the, the fetus, makes everything flexible for them. So if it's reduced, the movement is reduced too. All right, there's smaller than normal abdominal size, okay? There's potential complications like pulmonary hypoplasia, or skeletal deformities. What are the symptoms here? There's rapid growth of the uterus, there's discomfort in the stomach, there's increased risk of preterm labor, and there's also increased risk of a premature rupture of the uh, premature rupture of the membranes. Okay. So diagnosis is measured by what amniotic fluid index or deepest vertical pockets of fluid during an ultrasound okay complications this can lead to what fe uh, poor fetal development preterm birth and increased risk of birth defects this one too is measured by what still the amniotic fluid index or deepest vertical pockets and it can also leads to what maternal discomfort preterm birth complications during delivery okay so that's it for what the differences between what oligohydramnios and polyhydramnus.